Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition 2. Yes. And by that I mean Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Yes. Where we left off last time we got butchered by some goths a whole bunch. Uh, we are in the Cult of the Eyeless area, trying to get a rod of power for them. We're not actually going to give it to them of course. Because the Beholder really wants the rod. Heh. <laughs> right. Dirty innuendo. Um, he wants the rod because it is extremely powerful and he has the other half of it. We are now in a trap area apparently, but we didn't die from it so I'm not going to bother reloading. We're going to make our way up here and talk to the deceased one. Diseased one, sorry. Hello. That's it. I am a stranger in your time lost buried city and all you say is hello. What would you have me say? Shall I proclaim the wonder of your arrival? Shall I bemoan the terrible length of the ages? Should my knees buckle at the very sight of you? I am sure it would make you feel important, but I have simply no interest in you. I think you'll find we care about very little at all. Then tell me who you are. What is this place? Ah, you wish the exposition. Typical. I should really write this down so I don't have to keep repeating it. Not that we have a lot of visitors. We are the guardians. We guard the temple. This is very important because every few hundred years someone almost wanders this way. We have forgotten what it is we guard. We have forgotten how many generations we have been here, and we have forgotten what it is to have a purpose. You sound thrilled with your calling. Why do you stay? We cannot leave. We cannot even die. We are born again in an endless recycling of our souls. We learn over and over again that we are condemned to a fate we no longer want. Then I will try to release you somehow. Do what you will, there is no escape for us. We have accepted this. We teach it to the newly young, who then teach it to the old that die and are reborn. The deal which placed us here has been followed to the letter, and we are never to be released from service no matter how pointless the task. You will fail. You cannot help but fail. We know this. We expect nothing other. You worship suffering like a martyr of Ilmatir, but you lack pride or purpose. I do not know this name you speak of, but even the name of our own god is lost, so it is not surprising. We direct nothing but loathing to the temple now. Take what you will, we are guardians in name only. We may as well be simple mindless skeletons. Alright, we've learned that these people are in a bad way. We're going to head inside the temple and take a look. Oh my god, there's an empathetic manifestation. The first time, sorry, uh, hate is here. Here is hate. Attack with anger and or anger and feed the hate. The hate. When you first come through here, you may want to just send all your warriors to go beat the demon to death, but you do not actually want to do that. Right. Come on, attack Corgan at least. Okay, let's try that again. You can only kill it by healing it. No one here but us shadows. Oh good, she didn't lose the spell at least. Who walks in the temple of I? Speak of yourself. You are almost beyond the sight of I. Um, Eltamar the kitten killer walks here, and I have disposed of your little guardian. The guardian? The beast is not of I. The beast kills the form of I repeatedly. You have slain it, but for a small time. It comes again and again. The beast is a fell deity, for it has more power than I can muster. My legion of followers feed the creature, and I am weakening and fading. Such power the beast has. If this is your temple, then you have no legion. Your followers do not follow you. But they must serve. It is the letter of the agreement. They were to guard, and I would provide for their lives. This was to be for all time. Until what? They die and are reborn to guard against nothing? No one comes. Then it is little wonder that I cannot defeat the beast. It is their loathing and pathos, and it has become the object of worship, whether they know it or not. The time has passed. I have not here, and will not again. Even the great device has waned in power, and it is not so epic a danger as I once thought. Pathetic existence for a god indeed, not forgotten enough to finally die. Perhaps one day such a fate will, will await dark loth. One can only hope. I weep 
for my children. Their hate sustains this place. Though they would intend otherwise, had they not thought of me at all, I would have perished, and soon after so would they. Is there anything I can do to help you? The letter of the bargain was that I protect the great device until the end of time. The creator races were very specific. I will reinterpret the words, for it is, the, it is surely the end of my time. The intent of the bargain was that the great device would not be used again. If it is indeed the end of time, then my last act should be to destroy it. I have not the power to do so. What will give you the power? Faith. The belief and conviction of my followers is the lifeblood of power. There must be a way to spur their faith. Open your mind. Perhaps you have knowledge of use. Yes! I see in your mind the way to release this place. You seek the great device for another, though you owe them no allegiance, and they intend to kill you. Spoilers? Damn, deity. Device, the piece that I possess, and ye shall combine it with the piece the creature already has. The assembled rod would surely destroy the beast. You must use the item upon the beast, and then return it to me. Use it but once, or you will perish under its power. That sounds like a challenge. Tell my people that you carry the peace that I give you, that you might deplete it, that you go to restore its components so that it may be disposed of as a whole, not in part. My people must know I intend to destroy it when you return, but more. They must know I intend to end their service. Okay. This simple act of bringing together the two parts of the rod will instill a small amount of faith for an instant. If they are in my presence, such an instant will allow me to destroy the artifact. What do I get out of this? The destruction of a beast that is using you. I know not if you know its nature, but you will stand little chance against the thing without the great device. No, you must do this for me. It is in your best interest. Use the item once with my blessing to ward you against harm. Return as though at my bidding, and you will free my people. Do this. I will help you. Give me the device. Take it and plant the seed of hope within my followers. They may not believe you now, but when you return, they will perhaps have a spark. So we have come all this way only to find an item that is practically useless? Bah, the device's effect on the beholder had better be worth it. In truth, it actually is. That's the best you can if that is what you want. A little bit of metagaming there. Um, you can't actually kill the beholder without the device, I don't think. So, just as a heads up, we're also going to rob the temple while we're here. What use does the dead god have of some gems? I have use of them to buy sweet items and hookers and blow. Yes, as you <laughs> in fact, forget the sweet items. Have you enjoyed your visit? Of course you found nothing, and of course you will leave empty-handed. There is you. You have the great device. What are you doing with that? It cannot be moved. It has not been moved in a millennia. It is the will of your god that it be taken from this place and weakened. I do not believe you. Nothing has changed here in ages. If you have the great device, it is only because our god is weaker than we imagined. You will see. It is to be destroyed when I, re when I return. You will be free of your duty. Nothing changes here. You will not return. We will not be freed. There is nothing to lend our faith to but hate and loathing. Go. It is the last we will see of you. It shall be. You guys are very depressing people. Alright, I don't think there's anything in our way unless things have spawned behind us. Which I'm kind of hoping they haven't. so that we can go do the rest of this quest. We have a beholder to kill.
Beholders are mean, nasty creatures, even meaner and nastier than goths, which are fairly mean and nasty on their own. They just cast a whole bunch of terrible spells like whole person, confusion, cause serious wounds, lightning bolts, you know, all the good stuff that you don't want your group to get pounded by repeatedly. And they fire them so fast. Um, I think actually if you use the Cloak of Mirrored... Cloak of Mirrors? Cloak of Mirrored Image or something like that. You're actually immune to them. Or a Shield of Reflection, I believe. But I don't have either of those items. If you have a Shield of Reflection or a Mirrored Shield, maybe? I don't remember what their names are. If I come across them, I'll point them out. Much like the Ring of Human Influence. But... Oh, we need to go talk to a dude first. Before we go meandering off, we need to talk to Is him. That you? Have you returned successful? Yes, I have half of the rod here with me. Most excellent, my lord. Most wonderful. Let me tell you then how the second half of the rod can be acquired. The unseeing eye is in a great pit in the center of the cult compound. You cannot enter the pit by the stairs. The monster's minions would slay you. But you must get into the pit. There is a niche where the beholder stores his treasures, including the rod. There is a safe way to get to that niche. One of our friends is still in the cult. You must approach him and say the phrase, the eye is blind. He will then know who you are and be able to help you. You will find him by the pit of the faithless. Do hurry, my lord. The beholder continues to mesmerize and murder the innocent even as we speak. I shall go immediately and locate this man you speak of. Praise the gods. I wish you well, my lord. Remember, do not speak to Gull. If he senses that you have half of the rod, the plan is doomed. Speak only to Tad, which is also a terrible name, but whatever. Leave it to me. I just realized I didn't check if there was anybody in this little room and there is a treasure box. So let's go rob these people. Why not? They don't need their worldly possessions or something. No traps, just locks. Excellent. I'll be taking that and I will be taking whatever's in here as well. Oops. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay, let's go to here. I'm actually just going to put my people facing that way, right there. Uh, when you right-click and hold and rotate, you can change the orientation your party is facing. You can also change your formation, which I actually might do. We do have three good fighters that should be in the front while everyone else stands behind. It's actually a pretty decent formation for our particular group. You can also do one if you have multiple strong armored people and then one weak character, you can put them in the middle. Works pretty good to protect mages. Or is that the leader in the middle? I guess it works pretty good if you are the mage. The, uh, the lighter colored circle is your main character in the formation. Just so you know how it works. Alright, let's go talk to Tad. We're going to skip by Gaul, sort of. I'm actually going to... I missed looting something in his room, so... Thank you, Gaul. We'll leave the uh, ammo Amen. here again. And repent. Tad says, yes, Pilgrim. The eye is blind. You, Sassar sent you. Oh, thank the gods. I am relieved he is still alive. I am Tad. What do you need me to do? He said that you would know a secret way to reach the small cave at the back of the Beholder's Lair. Can you help me find it? You want to enter the Beholder's Lair? Well, you must go down the Pit of the Faithless. Below is a secret pathway to the cave, or small cave in the lair. I don't know exactly where the passage is. Be wary of the creatures who feed upon the bodies of the Faithless that are thrown down there. Very well. Thank you for the assistance, Tad. Good luck, my lord. So we are heading down into the into the pit. There are several bodies here, but they are not our concern. Our concern is more along the lines of ghouls, mummies, ghasts, you know. Have you nothing else to do but yes? Good things like that. Eat fireball chumps. Yes. Looks like we killed a bunch of things. Looks like there's only the mummies left. That actually worked really well. That's as you wish. All right, that worked great. I will do my best. Let's uh, 
quickly loot some things. We found one whole gold. Very impressive. A ring and a ring. Excellent. That's right. No yes. one here yes. but us shadows. I'm gonna uh, oh there's a Easy ghoul here. You know. Or a zombie. And some guests. What is this? What is this? Living ones here? I must tell the mayor. On my own. Mind your tone. Okay. You go do that. Actually, I probably should have fireballed ahead of this group, but we're going to try and fight these off without any sort of fireball assistance. We're actually doing pretty good carving through these mummies and stuff. Alright. Everything is dead. And there's a scroll. What do you got? That's right. Is it a good scroll? Probably not, but it's a scroll I already have. Excellent. Well, we can sell it. Quick save. Yes. And Done. into here we go. There are more things in here. What would you have me do? And are you still stealth? Oh, good. So we're gonna yes. lob a fireball in to start this party the right way. didn't die. Those are some impressive zombies. Fine, we'll deal with them our way then. Kill that one. Kill that one. I want to try and stay away from this side up here, just because there are more in dead. And I want to scout them out before we go charging in. There's a man named Thashal. A ghoul lord. And a shadow fiend, a couple skeleton warriors, a ghast. So, what is it now? a fairly sizable enemy force. We're gonna do this side first, I think. If I must. That's right. No one here but us shadows. Well, that was grim. On my honor. Everything was immune. Go uh, Dorn, go fight those. You do not Why do you come among us? I begs you to leave the smell. The smell of food makes us wild. I'm not your food, and I'll not leave until after I've destroyed all you undead monstrosities. Psst, we must feed, we must Death feed. Who stand against me. Okay. We have quite a few enemies to take care of. I'm gonna get Hexat to come and help. Dorn. Oh. Don't get smacked around. Okay. Yes. You're gonna fight him, you're gonna fight him. Busy, you okay, are busy. going to magic missile and you I come up here. And go turn him dead. What is my task? Cool. Dorn is held, that's not good. Honor, you shall not see another day. No Dorn, don't die, I don't I want to raise you from the dead, actually. Why are you not targetable? Aye, that be sound of right. Yes. Next swing. Okay. Well, at least we saved Dorn's life. Victory shall be ours. Barely. Let's heal him up. What is my task? By my honor, yeah, you be bloody ready now. We'll loot all the bodies later, as soon as we're done killing all of them. Dorn, you need more healing. Yes, Very clearly, you need more healing. Actually, it seems like this is a good fireball time. Alright. That should help us out a little bit. Let's finish all these off. Anybody else in here? Yes, two more things to kill. You're gonna go kill the shadow. Victory. A solid hit. I shall not yield to you. The skeleton warrior actually has still has a lot of life. I am very good. On my honor. But is now dead. Excellent. So yes. we have succeeded. What would you have me do? What is my I will do my Looks best. like Corgan's disease, but he'll be fine. Or in theory he'll be fine. No well, traps. That is what you want. Some bracers. What I look for. Or gloves, or whatever. Whatever you want yes. to call them. Hand gear. Yes. Okay. Um, I do have a cure disease spell. That one. 
All right. We need someone who has inventory room. Don't worry, you have inventory room. Go take a look around. Corgan's gonna get all those gems and stuff shortly, but the thing I want the most is that it is, um, I think it's plus four or plus five leather armor. I think it lowers your charisma though, because it is actually made out of flesh. It's a flesh armor, and not like cow flesh, more like human flesh. But it's good armor, I think. We'll uh, check it out in a bit. Gets in our way. We'll be yes, in this fine, place. fine. Just stop pestering me. Okay, let's give Corgan these gems from everybody that picked them up. We're gonna have lots to sell when we get out of here. Oh, there's a necklace there too, but whatever. Yes. Oh, all right. All right. Charm prison, where did you have it? On my own. Done. Moving out, we're done in this area, so we're gonna go head off into the Beholder's place. We killed a whole town of undead, which actually looks like they made a legitimate little settlement here. I am ready feel a little bit bad, but I mean, they're undead. No one will miss them. No one even knows they're probably alive. Looks like There's some more sure. enemies up here. One done? last little group. I have no fireballs left. <gasps> what, what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn undead. Um, so let's lead them back. And I'm gonna form a wall here. And I'm gonna move her back over here so she can backstab. And go. Mind your tone. On my honor. That's right. The impressive. That's the best you can manage. Yes. Hold By my still. honor, you shall not see another day. What is my task? On my honor. Come on, finish off the mummy. There we go. That one apparently just doesn't want to fight in general, but we're gonna kill yes. it anyways. Consider it done. Oh, there's another mummy and another ghast. Oh god. A dangerous I mistake. That's okay. This shouldn't be too what hard for us task? to kill. Especially since our main character has negative seven armor now. Nothing but die. He's pretty hard to kill. We're gonna leave those rings. They're probably not worth picking up. Maybe we'll grab this one who's on the way. Alright. On my honor. Moving on, let's go through here. We are now in this very bizarre looking area. This is the beholder's lair. What would you have me do? Let's save and Dorn, you still have room, right? I will take care of this. Let's see what there is in here. Conjure lesser fire elemental, some sort of gem, and some bolts. We'll leave the bolts. I'm glad Dorn is exceedingly strong so we can cart around, what, three sets of plate armor? What do these do? These are dexterity bracers. And I'm actually not going to give them to Dorn. I'm going to give them to Corgan. Now he has negative seven armor as well. He'll actually have less once I get his dual wielding on, but... Yes. That's okay. You are lucky. That's right. Let's go Easy take enough. a quick peek Easy around. Um, I'm actually going to redo my level three spells slightly. I'm gonna get rid of that and that. And I want more fireballs, I think. Well, maybe one more haste. Okay. What is my I will do my best. Yeah, Let's go peek around this corner. I know there's goths in here, and I know there's nasty things. I wonder if I can kill it in one hit if I backstab it. Let's try. It's worth a shot. If it doesn't work, we won't have lost much time. Backstab failed. On my honor. Die quickly, fool. What is it shooting at? We're gonna kill it. Oh, excellent. That's the best we are the best. I am the best at space. Alright. Mm. There isn't a lot of traps in here. That is one thing you might want to note. But there are quite a few enemies. Um, especially in the middle. There's three more goths there. Which means... We didn't rest because we don't have aerial servant. I wonder if we can use elementals. Yes, yes. Elementals might be immune to their junk. That's worth a shot. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? 
Let us summon an elemental. We will then immediately surround it in case we fail at controlling it. It does happen. Be quick with it. Because we will have to kill it pretty fast. When we get to summoning greater elementals, we can actually summon elemental princes, which are very cool. Excellent. So we have one. I'm going to try for two, just to go kill the goths. Number two is a fire elemental. I am very good. What a waste of my full surround? I don't think we can actually get out of there now. Yes. That's right. No one here but us shadows. Come on. Give us the elemental. Oh good. We control both of them. Great success. Alright, um, we are going to grab our character, that is what you want. our stealth character, and we're going to let her you are certainly. lead our elementals That's in. Right. They are not. I can do that. So our elementals are going to go beat the crap out of some goths, hopefully without any problems. It looks like they're doing pretty good. That's right. No one here but us shadows. I'm hoping that they can complete this without any problem. How's our elemental looking? Badly injured. But I think we're doing okay. We've almost killed two. There we go, one dead. That's right. No one here but us shadows. And the fire elemental hasn't been hit yet, which is a good thing. Two goths are dead. This is a good way to not get our group killed while we kill Beholder type things. Which are apparently very good at wasting our group in seconds. That's right. No one here but us shadows. Excellent. Join in, Hexat. Okay, don't join in, don't join in, don't join in. That was bad. Sorry. No one here. You tried to join in. It didn't work particularly well. Join in one more time. Nope, nope, nope. Don't miss. Missing is bad. Missing is very bad. Oh no, our fire elemental is gone. Fire elemental is gone. Okay, well, it's near death. Let's try and kill it. Hit this time, please. There we go. They don't drop loot either, but that's okay, they give a ton of experience. Our main character is nearly up a level. He actually, I was looking through my experience for everyone in my group. Aside from Edwin, I think main character is the next lowest in experience gained. Everyone else has way more. Edwin is the second lowest. Or Edwin is the lowest, sorry, and our character is the second lowest. So let's go take a peek down here. Uh, we're going to loot all of the areas in here because there's some decent magical items around. There's a full beholder in here though. Um, How do we want to deal with the beholder? We're going to deal with it On my honor. the way we deal with everything. Haste, I guess? Haste to go in and pound on it until it dies and hope that we don't get massacred ourselves. That yes. is the way we're going to do it, I guess. All right, we're hasted. Yes, me, go, men, go! Charge gloriously into battle. Oh, well, Dorn died. Well, we won technically. What would you have me do? Dorn should be the last person to go in because Dorn has no freaking hit points compared to anyone else. All right, now charge gloriously into battle. Charge. My main character, my main character, can take some damage. Wow, maybe he can't take that much damage. Well, we won, sort of. I count that as a win. We're gonna rest here because we're hurting pretty badly. Let's just see what we have for loot in here, and also we need some spells back. When does Vicania gain another level? Not for a little bit. All right, what's this new? Sp we have a couple new spells. Skull Trap is actually a pretty cool spell as well. 
Awesome, that was great. What is my we task? gained all of our stuff. We're gonna rest. We were awakened. Oh god, by a goth. Oh, we lost Dorn. Alright, let's try sleeping again. There we go. We're actually gonna sleep twice. Nope, we're not. A solid Come on, don't kill Dorn. Dorn, you suck at not dying to goth. Okay. Excellent, that worked well this time. Alright. Um, actually, we're at half an hour, so I'm going to end the video here. In the next video, we'll finish up this place for sure. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.